Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be following up a previous episode we did with the desktop CNC. So we got the single flute uh, bits in, so what I want to do is give it a shot again. So you might remember in the last episode we did with the acrylic, we had a problem. Um, we were running the double bit flute, which is this guy right here. So this guy has, make sure I get it in frame here. This guy has two flutes. Um, it, typically, the, the more flutes you have, um, you know, for like aluminum, you're going to want to run more flutes. So there's a whole um, sort of mathematical and algorithm for figuring out chip load. Uh, but, you know, kind of long story short, with, the, uh, with plastic, you want to minimize the number of flutes. Now, typically, I have pretty good luck with two flutes, but this one was melting the plastic. Now, the bit rolled underneath the machine. So with the one flute, it's a little bit different. And I'll get this in here. So it literally has one big gouging flute. Now, you have to be a little bit more careful with this guy than you do the two flute because there's one. So these tend to want to throw the material more than the two flute because you have one flute that's continually basically grabbing as it rotates around. So you have to be a little bit careful with that versus the two flute. Now, I've got a piece of acrylic um, mounted up. I've got the machine set up. Uh, everything's ready to go. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and send some G-code to it and see what happens. Okay, so here we are back at the bench. I thought from the time lapse I was doing good. However, I did run into a problem because when I thought it should have cut it through, it actually um, had melted it. And I'm not sure if I can get this where I can do uh, a zoom in on this. However, it, it pushed it back by melting it by a couple, by about probably two millimeters. So I went through and did it a second time, and again, it did the same thing, pushed it out or melted it down, and didn't cut all the way through. I tried another one on here, but what happened is the, the cutter, and it's sort of like as I had forewarned at the beginning, because it had already uh, started to cut and hadn't gone all the way through, I, I lowered the depth, and when it caught it, it just kind of ripped and tore because of the, um, you know, single flute design of this. So. This is a little bit of a challenge uh, using the single flute. In, in general, I was happy the way it cut, but I'm thinking that uh, this is going to really have to be pushed up to. I did 100 millimeters a second. I think really 150 to 200, and it might work better. I like the general chip clearance, but I'm still surprised that it, it generated enough heat to melt it. On the first pass, I didn't think that was happening. I thought, ooh, this really is working nice. And, uh, you know, that's what happened. So, again, this soft plastic is, is a difficult one to work with. So this is not, this is just regular acrylic. It's not cast acrylic. And uh, so it melts very easy. So you have to move through it. I thought, again, with this uh, single flute over the double flute would have an uh, easy winner, but it doesn't look so easy to me. So, uh, anyways, if you have experiences with this, let me know below um, what kind of speeds you're running at. But I kind of wanted to show, uh, again, what to expect out of a single flute. And it, it uh, didn't disappoint. It performed as I pretty much expected. So, hey, if you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, subscribe's coming up over there if you're not subscribed. And don't forget the swag shop in the corner helps support the channel. So, cheers. See you in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe.